welcome back to Open Everyone. Our last guest is a dancer, flamenco teacher, choreographer, and founder of the Anix Barrera Flamenco. <laughs> Her choreography is known for showcasing female empowerment, queer themes, a sexual identity, and social justice color. Throughout her dancing career, she's had the opportunity to perform on some of the most prestigious stages, such as the Joyce Theater, Lincoln Center, the Red Theater in Abu Dhabi, mm -hmm. and Cafe Silverio in Sevilla, oh, no. Spain. Mm -hmm. mm, me cool me. <laughs> Here to share more about her monthly performance at El Barrio, uh, El Barrio Art Space, that is, and classes, please welcome to Yanis Barrera. Bueno. Buenos días, nena. Hasta Spain. Look, I'm twisting over because I want to be right Buenos here with you. <laughs> I know, but later on you're going to be like, <laughs> and I'm going to join in as well. Of but course. what a lovely life. I mean, I, of course, I'm making jokes because we've had you on before, but mm -hmm. the last time we had you on, you were representing the dance parade, right. which is one of my favorite parades of all it's time. Awesome, so yeah. it was lovely to have you representing it <laughs> here on our open stage. But uh, here now today, you're representing you, mm -hmm. your organization, and I just... Yeah, I'm always in awe about people who are able to design their life around something that they love to do and something that allows them to just really just be a childlike, right? Mm -hmm. Because to me, dancing is like exercising the child within. Yeah, creativity I, and creation, and it's, it's awesome. What yeah. has that been for you, though, to before even... Yeah. Be, now offering these classes for like being able to travel and being able to study in the uh, what i guess we would consider the motherland of flamenco mm -hmm. it is <laughs> España. yeah yeah it's it's amazing i mean you know i'm from washington heights and um you know we don't really have that luxury we don't have that upbringing of you know go here go there you know you go to puerto rico you go to la república you go downtown, but you know, it wasn't until I was in college actually that I started flamenco and it was actually a friend in class who was like, you gotta go to Sevilla, that's where you gotta learn. And ever since 2006, I go every year, every other year to continue training, studying, seeing shows, working, collaborating. And it's, it's fantastic. No, it's lovely that you say that, right? Because it, what you're really referencing is just that uh, cultural enrichment, right? right? It's a cultural enrichment. And I think it's so important that our people, and when I say our people, you know, I'm a Latina, so I'm speaking on behalf of my Latino cult cultura. It's like, it's, yes, it's important to hold pride in, in our culture, but it's also important to learn other people's yeah, culture absolutely. because then you're able to kind of understand what our origins are right. or, or where they come from um, and yeah. whether you you're uh, with them or oppose them <laughs> to them. Uh, the, 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 the fact is, is that there's some kind of similarity and there's some kind Absolutely. of relation yeah. in every single art form that represents the different cultures. Absolutely. Like when I go to Sevilla, I always go to Sevilla, the south of Spain, to study. The, the people of Sevilla remind me so much of Latinos. Like warm, so funny. You know, that estamos en casa, no? And I just love it. It was definitely... Um, um, mind bog opening let's, of the mind let's give everybody know. a little background on flamenco dance and its classical form right because it's this is um, a folklore right? It, right but it's classical and it's elegant and, it, and it's rather uh, it's a prestigious dance yeah it's it's multicultural because there are many different cultures that were in spain and many of those cultures influenced flamenco you have africa right next door so you have the african influence you have moorish arabic influence the Spanish Christian, the Sephardic Jews, uh, Indian, all of these cultures were in Spain and they all influenced flamenco. So you'll see many different influences within the cante, which is the singing, the baile, which is the dancing, and the toque, which is the guitar. So I got a little sneak peek and, and <laughs> you guys are gonna get a taste of, of what her company is bringing to El Barrio. Yeah. However, what I did, what stood out for me was that there was this gypsy sound yeah. <laughs> that um, was ancestral. Yes, it, it, the art form of flamenco is not very old, but of course the, all the, the cultural influences that were there, I mean, for example, the Moorish culture was there for in Granada for 800 years, you know, so it has a very antique, you know, feel to it. But there's also now many modern influences as well. So in the flamenco show nowadays, you can see the violin or the flute. We also have the percussion, the cajon, which is a box drum, um, which comes from Peru. So 
it's beautiful. It's yeah. beautiful. It sounds beautiful. And, and, and thank you for bringing it to El Barrio. And before we go, let's just share with everyone how they'll have the opportunity yes. to not only learn it, but also witness it and experience right. it, it uh, on a professional scale. And perhaps in taking her classes, you can become part <laughs> of our company. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at, at El Barrio, where actually I live, we do a monthly flamenco tablao, tablao flamenco, um, which is a traditional flamenco show of a song and dance. And um, we do it every second Friday of the month. Tonight is the opening season. So we go from October to June, and you'll get to see a, a taste of what will happen tonight. Well, thank you for bringing it here to Thanks our so stages. <laughs> you guys, we'll have to take a quick break, but when we return, the Anix Barrera will perform for us, at, or rather her company is going to perform <laughs> for us. So don't go anywhere. You don't want to miss this.